Hey everybody, this is Mountain Spring Chick, and the biggest news today is, oh, Malaysian Airlines. Now, you might have been hearing about that for a couple of weeks, and how is it, what, they can find a landing strip on somebody sunbathing in their background, in their backyard, but they're having a difficult time finding a jet in an ocean? Anyway, something sounds a little fishy swimming around over there, but hmm, are those really the airplane parts that were found in the Indian Ocean? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. We do it enough times, and she doesn't mess with the computer. We get it right. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, I think it was like, okay, this is the second time I've done this, so i got to make certain it seems different. Okay, the trick is the Republican Party has been told by the main pollsters of the Democratic Party that there is no way the Senate is going to be in the hands of the Democrats at the, after this next election. The President of the United States has already admitted that the um, that they will lose the part. They will lose because they said, the, "I love it." The people don't understand that we have done this all for them. But they uh, they said that uh, the, the how big the Republican victory is going to be will be determined with how many Senate seats the Republicans lose. They said they expect to lose at least three seats where the people are really unhappy with it. They said if you were to put a Democrat in. The Democrats are more conservative than the Republicans in these southern states. Mm -hmm. So, and they don't like Obama. Whereas the people that are being that are going to be bounced out are rubber stamp anything that Obama wants to do spending. But they, uh, it, it is amazing though that uh, that the de but, you know, like the President of the United States, they don't appreciate what we've done for them. And every 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 midterm election after the president has done great things for the American people. They turn against this president. I love that. And Obama is now being laughed at by his own supporters. That's part of what I just said. That they, he basically is so full of himself. I mean, um, but they've been doing that for a while. Oh God, but they're disappointed in him. Uh, like I was talking to them, on the, and the first time we did this about how they did a new, they were on a news show yesterday with lots and lots of liberal Democrats, and they come out with a person, mm -hmm. one person praising how the president of the United States has handled. The health care crisis, how he handled the, the Ukraine crisis, how he handled Syria and Iran, and, uh, and he's going on and on, how no, nobody else in our history could have had a foreign policy better. And then the Democrat, one of the actors that worshipped the ground, he come out and said, he said, we are talking about Barack Hussein Obama, aren't we? And he said, when the host said, well, he was being facetious, he said, no, I know the man. He was actually telling you what he thinks. That this that this president, he, he said we he, he, he screwed up the health care system. Uh -huh. I mean, he said I'm a Jew. He said the Iranians are going to bomb the hell out of Israel probably, mm -hmm. and he said that Syria is basically killing people mm -hmm. right and left, and the whole Balkans. He said everybody over there is going to be Russian again, and he said that is the greatest that has ever been in our history. So. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it, it's, oh, and Jack Daniels opposes changing Tennessee whiskey law. Oh yeah. Uh, the problem comes is what happens is, you love this one, the, the Democrats have control of, um, of both houses in Tennessee. They've decided that all whiskey in the state must be made according, you know, meet the standards of Jack Daniels' recipe. What? Which means Jack Daniels would, ha would have to turn their recipe over. They'd have to turn the recipe over if it's to meet this. Well, uh, yeah, a recipe that's been in the business but been untouched for all of these years um, and they're also going to change the that's, a, that's enough to make a move out of that state well yeah they're thinking about it because they're going to change the containers that they can be brewed in now what yeah instead of putting it in the barrels that they were doing it in it's not they want it to put in in metal containers because the metal containers are uh, are, are better to work with and they're not they're, you know, the wood basically, they use the same barrels over and over. Right, but it they gives it that, that, that not, smoky, woody flavor. Yeah, but they said it gives it a, they said it's a violation of health laws. And this is what Democrats do when they get the chance. Oh, my gosh. Well, that would totally change. They'll move. They're already yeah, planning move. to move. They're looking for states, basically, that they can move their business into. And Germany's Russian rethink how Merkel lost faith in Putin. Well, he was a good Russian. Uh, well, yeah, there are no good. Okay, okay. The guy was this KGB uh, colonel. He was at the. You know, they don't have KGB generals, which means he was at the mm -hmm. top of the thing. He loved to. I mean, this is a guy that basically 
would love to tear the to pull the wings off of flies and then glue them onto something else to see if it would work because the, these KGB he, and they said that uh, like today uh, Obama he's over there it's now the G7 not the G8 because the Russians weren't welcome well they handled the not being welcome at the G7 by simply saying that uh, it will be up to the Russian government to protect the rights of Russians all over the world where we think that Russians are being persecuted and, and one of the people one of the people over at the G7 said well he said I guess parts of Ohio are in big trouble especially Cleveland now mm -hmm. and the president laughed it off and said uh, uh, you know and then while well, he's laughing it off Putin basically has his people using cell phones to call so he basically says there are parts of the United States where Russians are being persecuted by this president and his administration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, yeah. That basically, and under the Obama doctrine, of, uh, he, Putin can send troops in anywhere in the world and protect the rights of Russians. And U.S. puzzled by Iran's mock-up of an aircraft carrier. Gosh, this, oh, I'm going to break something to the president and his people that are watching satellites. It isn't a mock-up. It's an aircraft carrier. It's like the Chinese aircraft carrier. They got, they're building a second carrier now. So you why know, were they puzzled then? Oh, they, they thought they, it was a mock-up. Well, because they're not telling people they're building a carrier. Because, well, there's no, they don't have any planes for it. Well, the Chinese don't have anybody that can land on a carrier, but it's not stopping them from building the carriers. Oh, God. Yeah, they actually don't have, I, I, I flew off of carriers. And they, they, they just buy the airplane. Yeah, yeah, they buy, but they don't have carrier pilots because the problem mm -hmm. is, they said, to be a carrier pilot, I heard this from a crew chief a long time ago. He said, you have to file the sanity test because have you ever tried landing an airplane in the middle of the night with no lights on the deck with waves bouncing the ship 30 and 40 foot up in the air and down? Mm -hmm. He said, you have to file the sanity test. And they got... Too many smart people in Iran and China. <laughs> <laughs> and reinventing education, Bill Gates takes a controversial stance for school reform. Well, the, the the, his controversial stance is, is to turn the education over completely to the teachers' union because the teachers know what is best for the students. And they would set the curriculum, they would set, you know, uh, the class sizes, and all, and, you know, you would need to hire more teachers, build more schools, and he thinks that we should be spending like another 100 to 200 million dollars a year to improve our educational system, mm -hmm. which doesn't work now. And U.S. issues new Obamacare guidelines. Oh, the new guide, his guidelines change every day now. The, the, they're, they're changing, okay, you, now they're going to allow medicines that, that are cost prohibitive under his, uh, under his okay, if you want to pay $80,000 uh, a month for treatment, you can pay $80,000 a month for treatment even though you can't afford it. Mm -hmm. Like a guy, the other one, the first person found out, what do you mean? My insurance policy covered this before. He got billed for $240,000 under the Obamacare guidelines. Mm -hmm. And he can't afford it, so. And Amazon faces a surprisingly strong backlash against prime price hikes. The, the $20 was just too much for it. Mm -hmm. um, the majority of the people in the country don't even know what Amazon Prime is. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to raise the prices on something that has no name recognition. I mean, I heard, I saw people on television reporter. Well, I don't use it that often, so another twenty dollars in fees. Mm -hmm. But and then there's the people that use it all the time. Yeah. That it won't make any difference. I know some people. Somebody had told me, oh yeah, I order my diapers for the kid. Yeah. I order it every week from Amazon. I'm like, what? I know. You ordered it off of Amazon. I know. Well, we we were asked to get involved with Amazon Prime. The problem is they're, they're we don't order enough. We don't. I know we don't order enough. And new hard guidelines may put 12.8 million more Americans on statins. Oh yeah, because Obama's got to deal with the people that make the drugs, so they changed the rules on who can get the, who needs the medicine now. Uh, but don't worry. Michelle Obama says, I'm, I'm going to make it my, my, uh, my, my life's work to get people, you know, to basically kill fast food restaurants. Oh, she's supporting a pill now that makes you don't, that kills your craving for chocolates. Oh. Yeah. And a Monty Bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay. It's it simply put, if the government can screw something up, they'll screw it up. <laughs>